Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, thank you so much for just supporting the channel, dropping down beautiful comments, allowing you just to receive the messages that are coming from the divine and, you know, from the spirit guides that is helping you towards the current path you are on and allowing yourself just to learn more about your gift and be able to embrace it. And just thanks for, you know, just being you. And for that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about you giving the positive feedback of the content of the video. Or you're allowing yourself to be open and tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and brought you to a positive life. And if you feel like the video has just gave you some good vibes or it just gave you a good message, you feel like you need to pass on to a friend or a loved one, go ahead and do so. And as well, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And I hope you're able to rest tonight with the video, the content of the video today. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And the peaceful meditation music I'm listening to today is called um, Angelic Music at 528 Hertz. Deep healing music, dissolve inner turmoil, bringing, bringing peace within. Yes, we definitely need that. <clears throat> and the content of my video today is Twin Flame 101, Empaths, when the ego is no longer running you. Yes, when the ego is no longer running you, you know when you are on this path, you that ego will run you into the ground with doubt. You know, just bringing negative, you know, just just negative vibes to you. You know, it's just like, you know, when you're you're addicted to something, it's just like, oh, you know, you're not going to be able to get through this without this and this and that. You're, or you're not going to be able to, you know, do this. Or, you know, you could be falling in love with somebody and it's just like, oh, no, that's not the right person for you. Though they're going to hurt you. But when you start seeing things for what they truly are, and it, it's like with me right now, I used to always tell myself, it was just like, oh, you're going to have to go through this forever. Oh, things are never going to change for yourself. And I started seeing the beauty out of everything I went through. I really did. And it was just like, you know, I, I just, I used to tell myself, am I doing enough? Am I working hard enough? And then when I felt like I wasn't hard enough, I went ahead and pushed myself. And there would be days that I didn't feel like doing nothing, but I still did it anyway. And it was just like, now it's just like me and my ego are cool. <laughs> we are cool like two, four flats. And it's just, it, it feels good to actually, you know, hear my ego just like, oh my gosh, you're preparing yourself for this. And oh my gosh, this is really happening for you. And oh my gosh, we're actually really getting over this. And things that, you know, I really felt like I was not going to get over or things I was not going to overcome. I mean, I see the beauty out of every situation that I have experienced. And I mean, I really, it really humbles me and it, it, I cherish it. Even though it might have been the worst things that I ever went through. It's just, you know, experiencing the hurt, experiencing the pain and, you know, abandonment and neglect. You know, I'm, I appreciate all these things because it really, truly made me stronger. And it's just like when I can actually say that, you know, I'm not listening to the ego and allowing, you know, my ego to do that. You know, even though certain things will pop up in your mind when you're going through things and you're transitioning because your mind was trained to that, that certain beat of your drum of thinking that way and then one finally when you're able to train yourself and know that you are able to overcome things you're seeing things for what they truly are you know there's no shadow of a doubt that things are not getting better for you even though you might not be in the exact place you want to be right now you're knowing you're heading towards what you want you're heading towards what you need and it's like you you see that the universe is there for you you know when you can really truly need something and they really the universe sees that you need that then you will see that just the way you're thinking allowing your ego just to sit back and you know your ego is just sitting up here doing this this is what my ego is doing like okay i'm watching let me see what you're doing girl let me see what you're doing that's how my ego is right now and it's like it's an exciting feeling it's a scary feeling at the same time because this is new territory for me 
and it's just like it's a true blessing and I can really say that it's a true blessing and it's just like I don't hope you're doing the same thing when you're not allowing the ego of doubt the ego of dismay the, the ego of just being sad or unhappy or miserable you you see that you know even though I'm not exactly where I want to be right now is that you're pushing yourself you're training yourself it's just like you're running this race and you see that you are leaving the stress behind. You're leaving doubt behind. You're leaving, you know, you're, you're not having the faith that you have. But you're actually having faith in the things that are coming towards you. You, you have those daydreams. You probably even sit there and, you know, people are like, hey, hey, what are you, you know, are you here? Because you, you'll daydream about them a lot. That's when you know that things are coming your way. And you see that the universe has your back. And it, it's just when you know these things, you, you can see the strategy. You can be able to plan it out. And you might not know every little, you know, detail about that situation. You're working hard to get to that achievement. So allow yourself to be seeing the things that you need to truly see. That is a blessing coming towards your way. You know, that know that things are, when they start coming, they're not going to stop. And this is going to be to that point where you're going to look at the universe like, okay, you know, let me let me breathe. You know, this is going to be too much because you're going to feel that way. And I feel that way sometimes because when I see things coming my way, I'm just like, oh my gosh. You know, I see the things that I've manifested. You know, I always wanted to bring joy to the world and I see that I'm doing that you know allowing people to know that they are not by themselves they're not going loony tunes you know there's things we do things differently and a lot of people might not understand the way we do things but we know what we're doing even though we might go the longest hardest backward ass way to do it we still get the job done so allow yourselves to receive your blessings that you truly have been deserving for this long time. You know, you've been going through shifts and you've gone through things that really agitated you and confused you and probably made you mad. But allow yourself to be able to reap your, you know, your kind rewards. Reap that, you know, that, that karma in kind. And allow yourself to see your blessings for what they truly are and knowing that you're going to step into your desires, step into your dreams and make them come true. So I hope you were able to resonate with the video, like and subscribe, even hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And drop me a line or two, I love to get the positive feedback and I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Give me a thumbs up, like and even share on your social media favorites. And I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend and I will see you on my next video. Knowing you are blessed and truly loved and highly favored and know that there's somebody always out there praying for your better days. Send out much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.